What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video I've got one from Paris Corner that I kind of want to dive into. I've been spending the last several days with it. I'm currently wearing it as my scent of the day right now. And it's one of the more impressive fragrances that I've gotten from them recently. Not the most impressive, but it's a pleasant surprise, I have to say. We're talking about Kissa from Paris Corner Perfumes. We're going to dive into this one. Stay tuned. So before we jump into the review, the good folks at Aroma Concepts did send this my way as part of a fragrance haul that I did not that long ago. And while that has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm going to think about the fragrance, just wanted to let you guys know that I did not pay for this. They did send it my way, but you know, it wasn't the best fragrance in the haul, but it's better than I was expecting it to be. So let's discuss, shall we? So I want to make note of this bottle real quick because I love, 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 love this kind of turquoise, juicy sky blue color. Very nice, thick base glass. Recessed, has a sticker with some information. Has a really nice plaque style plate with some engraving. So they did, they did well with the presentation on this. Cap does not hold into place and the cap's a little on the cheap plasticky side. And we do have a really good atomizer. Bottle's nice, but the scent's even nicer. Let's discuss the scent. So when this one opens up, blast the citrus. There's a ton of different citrus. There's citrus accord, there's lemon, there's bergamot, there's, I believe, a little bit of orange in here, but it's also immediately met with this yellow floral langalang smell and a bit of ginger. I get this crisp, slightly fresh spice tone to it, kind of sitting in the backdrop, lingering around. It does come out more and more as it dries, but a very mouth-watering, super watery, fresh and airy type of citrus. Like I said, a lot of florals here, but it doesn't really smell all that feminine to me. If anything, it gives this bright, watery, ozonic accord to the fragrance to go with what's not really all that sweet of a citrus. It's more of a light, the sweetness here comes across as more of the florals, being juicy and sweet because there's so much lang, lang there's jasmine and stuff like that, there's other florals. But as it starts to dry, it gets overrun with this clean musky smell. So that freshness never goes away. It stays fresh from start to finish and that's the thing that's most surprising to me is it manages to have this staying power, which we'll discuss performance in a moment, with this level of freshness. Again, it's not overwhelmingly strong, but it is very present very easy to smell on yourself, and very much a warm weather fragrance. Like the color of this bottle is very fitting. It's an oceanic walk through the garden that's full of citrus, full of citrus and very breezy. It's got an ocean feel to it, like the breeze without being near the water, that ocean breeze type of smell. Not really all that salty, more of a freshwater ocean breeze, if you will. This is actually a pleasure to smell. Um, I would. I don't know if it's cloning anything, but I would encourage you to try this one. At the recording of this from Aroma Concepts, it is 37 bucks before the 10% off code, uh, but it's definitely one that's worth checking into if you want something a little different. As far as I know, it's not a clone. With Paris Corner, it very well could be a clone of something, but I can't relate it to anything in particular. I haven't smelled another fragrance that smells just like this, so nothing comes to mind, but I have to say, if you're looking for watery citrus, crisp ginger with juicy florals and clean musk that's pretty much the walk through the path of this this aromatic profile you might want to look into kissa now as far as performance it's got real staying power eight to ten hours longevity is what i've been getting from my testing uh it's not overwhelmingly beast type of longevity and projection but well above average i would put in the very strong territory because projections on the slightly heavy side i would call it slightly moderate to heavy it's kind of beyond arm's reach for a solid two to even three hours. It's not, again, not overwhelming, but it stays pretty strong for a pretty long time, a surprising amount of time. And then as it starts to settle into a sillage, it's on the moderate side where you will get nice, relatively dense whiffs of it when you make certain movements, turn your head, step forward, step back, all that good stuff. Well circulated room, it'll be easy for people to smell you. So across the board, it's not quite a beast, but it's well above average. I don't think there's anything left to be desired when it comes to the performance across the board with Kissa. 
Final thoughts on Kissa from Paris Corner is I think this is a very good fragrance. It doesn't knock my socks off. It's not mind-blowingly good, but it's a very enjoyable wear, very fresh. Uh, gives me similar vibes to stuff like, say, Rasasi Nafes Al Shagaf Por Om. Not as synthetic and cloyingly strong and like full of rose, but fruits and yellow florals and musk and stuff like that. I, I get a similar vibe to it. Walk through the garden by the by the you know the ocean breeze type of feel, but I think this is a better fragrance than that in many ways, just not as overwhelmingly strong as that one, but I do think it's a very good fragrance. I think this one's a 7.5 out of 10. This is some really good stuff. Again, not, not mind-blowingly good, like, oh my God, you must add this to your collection. I don't think that's the case, but if you want something that's kind of a different freshie for the summer and you like sweet florals, you'll probably enjoy this one. So once again, thank you Aroma Concepts for sending this my way. It was, like I said, a very pleasant surprise. Wasn't the best fragrance in the haul, but well above average, I gotta say. Hence the 7.5 out of 10 is a very good rating. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this already? What do you think of? I mean, do you, do you know if it's cloning anything in particular? I don't. I, I don't know. But I do like the scent. I like to judge them as individuals. If they're familiar to anything, I state if it's familiar to anything. Like I said, it could be a clone of something. I don't know. But as it stands, Kissa, very good fragrance. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Kissa from Paris Corner and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.